Hello dear student, welcome again. I am Dr. Vasan Boraste from Ketachem College, Department of Commerce, Nasik. Today I am going to show you how to solve the example of depreciation under accounting standard 10, uh, in which you have to study how you can calculate the uh, example of accounting standard 10. Let us start our example. First of all, what is AS10? AS10 is property, plant, and equipment, as you know. In the uh, last few videos, we have already discussed about S10 that is PPE. So here is the example number 5. Let us start our practical example. So you can see here the practical example. A limited purchase of machinery on 1st of April 2019 for rupees 10 lakh, for which transport charges paid rupees 2 lakh and transit insurance rupees 1 lakh. The state government sanctioned rupees 4 lakh as a subsidy. As the company working in back, uh, backward zone, the useful life of the machinery is 10 years and residual value of the machinery after 10 years will be rupees 1 lakh. Only under straight line method at 10%. To determine the cost of machinery recorded in the books of accounts on 31st March 2020. So the example is very easy. As you can learn it again, you may take a screenshot of this example or you may write down in the notebook. A limited purchase of machinery for rupees 10 lakh. That means this is the cost for which transport charges have been paid rupees 2 lakh. That means it has to be added in the cost and transit insurance rupees 1 lakh. That means insurance amount increase the cost of asset. The state government sanctioned rupees 4 lakh as subsidy. That means you are going to receive an amount of rupees 4 lakh. It should be deducted just because you are working in the backward zone. The useful life of the machinery is, uh, is 10 years. That means it is estimated that the machinery will work for at least 10 years. And the residual value of machinery of, uh, after 10 years will be, will be rupees 1 lakh. That means after the useful life of the machinery, you will you may say it, uh, sell it uh, for rupees 1 lakh. Only under straight line method, if you charge the depreciation only under straight line method at the rate of 10% per annum. Determine the cost of machinery uh, recorded in the books of accounts. On 31st March 2020, so that means it is. It has been asked that you have to. It ha, you have to search. You have to recognize, or you have to determine the cost of machinery to be recorded in the books of accounts. So let. So let us start the solution. Uh, you can see here the example. After that, you may start the solution. Solution is very easy. Uh, as per accounting standard 10, uh, treatment of depreciation as per AS 10, depreciation should be charged to profit and loss account. The formula of depreciation is very easy. Uh, it is equal to cost of machinery minus residual value divided by useful life of asset. So here the cost of machinery is rupees 10 lakh plus you have to add the transport charges that is 2 lakh plus insurance rupees 1 lakh. So total will be rupees 13 lakh. Less subsidy as I earlier mentioned in the example that you have to <coughs> minus the subsidy amount that is 4 lakh you, which you, you will be received. Uh, as a subsidy from the government as you are going to start a uh, company in the backward zone. So uh, it has to be deducted from your uh, cost of assets. So cost of machinery will be 13 lakh minus 4 lakh equal to 9 lakh. So this is the cost of machinery. The formula is depreciation equal to cost of machinery minus residual value divided by useful life of assets. So uh, you can put it in the formula. Uh, that is depreciation equal to the uh, 9 lakh that is cost minus 1 lakh that is uh, residual value divided by 10. So depreciation equal to uh, 8 lakh divided by 10 it answer will be 80,000. So and depreciation amount will be rupees 80,000. First of machinery to be recorded in the books of accounts on 31st March 2020 will be 9 lakh minus 20,000. So amount will be 8 lakh 20,000. 8 lakh 20,000. So this amount should be recorded in the books of account after charging the depreciation of rupees 80,000. So, so with this I would like to say thank you. Thank you very much. In the next example we will see an another aspect of AS10. Thank you.